how to finally forgive that old lover or that terrible last relationship or anybody who's wronged you in the past so you can move forward into a powerful, bright, passionate future. Hey friends, welcome to another video and today we're going to be talking about how to overcome resentments quickly and easily. And this is so critically important to learn and understand because it's human nature to hang on to resentments. It's part of our ego structure and what it does is it makes it safe and easy to stay exactly how we are. Basically, you can't progress in life because someone else did something, right? You're never gonna have that truly fulfilling relationship because the last person hurt you and wronged you in this way, and so now it's safe and easy to close off and not really strive for your true goal, but to just stay how you are right now. You're never gonna have that true business success because your last business partner did this or your last business ended this way, and you're just gonna hold resentments for those and stay comfy and stuck and safe right here, right now, as opposed to being where you truly wanna be. Resentments are always just a defense for making an excuse for why you're not where you truly would like to be. So we need to learn how to release these resentments powerfully, quickly, easily, so that we can live the life that we truly want to live. Let's think about it just from a quick example. Do you think that Martin Luther King could have made the impact he made on the world had he spent most of his time resenting the current structures, resenting white people for the oppression of his people? If most of his focus was on those resentments, could he have made the impact that he truly wanted to make? Absolutely not. Do you think that Gandhi could have set his people free if mostly what he was thinking about, or really at all what he was thinking about, was the resentments of the, the oppression of his people, the resentments of the occupation of his lands and, and all of those things? Could he have made the positive impact and, and truly set India free had he been in that headspace? Absolutely not. So you see how critical it is to release these resentments so that you can move forward in your life. Now let's learn a really easy process for doing so. In one of my other videos where I talk about how to release negative thoughts, I teach some Anthony Robbins techniques for associating with your thoughts and changing the way you associate with them. I'm going to reteach some of those techniques here so that you don't have to see that video too, but I would suggest you check it out because it will bring you further clarity. So a really easy way to change your association with your thoughts is to either make it larger or smaller, depending on if you want to make it more real or less real. If it's a negative thought, you can make it smaller and further away. You can see in your mind's eye that thought getting that image or that movie or whatever you see it as getting further away. You can see it getting blurry or black and white or all of the above. And, and you can see it get so far away and maybe even go all the way off into the sun and that will be a way to disassociate yourself from that negative thought. And you'll actually feel neutral, indifferent, or even happy towards that thought the next time you try to associate with it. On the other hand, if you want to make something more positive, say you have a positive experience, you can bring it closer in your mind's eye. You can see it get brighter and more panoramic, clearer, crystal clear, turn the brightness way up so it's just right there. And you'll feel incredible because you're, you're increasing your association to that thought. So in order to release resentments, we're gonna use both of these tools. This is the quick, easy process, and this is how you do it. When your thought comes up about a past person, past relationship, a past situation that you have a resentment towards, you can remove your attachment to that resentment by seeing that image, that situation get really far away, blurry, black and white, all those things. That will help disassociate you from the negative. But more importantly, what I want to talk about here is that you want to associate purposely, intentionally with the positive. You know, maybe that last business failed, but there was a cool lesson that you learned out of it, right? There's always some bit of positive 
experience inside of every experience if you look for it. So you find that, that one great thing that happened as a result of that horrible failing business and you blow it up huge in your mind's eye and you see it big and panoramic and bright and right there and you think about that one little positive aspect every time that that, any time that that business comes up in your awareness, you immediately go for that and you just remember, oh yeah, what a great little lesson that was. Same thing with a relationship. Maybe it ended terribly, but I guarantee you with any relationship, there's positive things that you remember that you loved. So take those and blow them up. And anytime you think about that relationship, you just purposely, consciously bring up the thing that you love and hold it right in your, bright in your vision and experience that joy. And basically what you're gonna do is program away the resentment by remembering the positive qualities that are really there if you just program yourself to look for them. And slowly, over time, you're gonna release all these resentments that are keeping you stuck. And you're just gonna feel better about the situation. You're gonna heal yourself from the mental anguish that comes from constantly recalling the negative past. So the specific advice that's different about this than just getting rid of negative thoughts is that for resentments to heal them, you wanna purposely look for the one piece that you can find that's positive about that situation and focus on that. And this will also heal a current relationship. And if you see that you're getting more and more separated from your lover, just start looking at the positives because that's what you were looking at when you started your relationship. It's only over time that you started thinking more often about the negative things they do like you know, not taking out the trash or putting the seat down or whatever the nonsense is that you're now paying more attention to, that's just what you're associating with. You're not seeing how cute they are or how lovable they are or how they support you or all those things. So it'll even work for a current relationship. This doesn't have to be something that's gone in the past. And most importantly, if it is something that's gone in the past, you don't need to bring them back into your life to heal the resentment, right? You just need to remember it in a way that empowers you and that way you won't be wasting your energy, wasting your time, grieving, losing personal power over something from the past that's gonna keep you stuck. So I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions at all, head to noahhammond.com and use the contact form. I make videos out of the questions and I love answering your guys' questions. Also leave comments below the video, like my channel or subscribe to my channel and like the video and check me out on Facebook. And if you haven't gotten your free seminar, 10 Simple Steps for Unlocking Your Personal Power, definitely go to noahhammond.com and check that out. And until next video guys, I'll see you soon.